Okay, we're going to do a calculator example, a uh, calculator permitted. The position of a particle for uh, the values from 1 to 3 for t is given by r of t is the vector e to the 3t, uh, and then the square root of t. Find the total distance traveled by the particle. So the part you have to do by hand is you need to find x prime of t and y prime of t. So uh, remember, this is my x of t, right? So, so my x prime of t should be a 3e to the 3t, right? And my y prime of t should be a 1 over 2 root t, right? So the way I do this, and you don't have to, um, but I don't use parametric mode in my calculator very often. Uh, your calculator does have a parametric mode, and that's fine, but most of the cool functionality that you find in your calculator is actually in the typical function mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my x prime in as y1 in my calculator. I'm going to do 3e to the 3x, right? So I'm using x in place of t, uh, and my y prime I'm going to call y sub 2, and I'm going to put in 1 divided by 2 root x, right? So that's what I'm going to put in my calculator as my uh, y1 and y2. So then what I'm going to type in my calculator after I've done that, uh, do make sure that your mode is radian. Uh, I was doing some pre-calc before this, uh, and I was in degree mode, and it messed up my world for a sec. So make sure your mode's radian. I'm going to then press math 9 in my calculator, which is going to give me function integrate. So again, that's the math button and then 9, right? And then inside there, I'm going to put the thing I want to integrate, right? Well, the thing I want to write is I need to write for the AP, I need to write out by hand what this needs to look like. So I need to write that my total distance, right, my total distance should be the integral from 1 to 3 of the square root of 3e to the 3t quantity squared plus 1 over 2 root t quantity squared with respect to t. I need to write this out, right? That's my job. So my job is to find these quantities and to write out exactly what they are. I can't call them x prime and y prime in here because they didn't call them x prime and y prime here, uh, or x of t and y of t here. So I have to use the same notation. So I'm going to write what my x prime of t was quantity squared and what my y prime of t was. There's no incentive to simplify that because I'm not integrating it by hand. So the AP is going to have to see this integral, right, with the bounds from 1 to 3, the square root of these quantities squared, and the dt. And then what I'm going to type in my calculator is exactly this. The AP will not give me credit for calculator notation, but you have to know how to use your calculator. So I'm going to type in a square root of y1 quantity squared, because I called this thing y1. Now, could you just type in this thing instead? Absolutely. Uh, but I think you run the risk of making a lot of errors if you have to type in so many parentheses. Uh, plus y2 quantity squared. Again, this thing quantity squared close the parentheses, with respect to x, which is taking my place for t right now, from 1 to 3. And then I hit enter, right? Once I do that, I get an approximate value, and I'm going to get that it's 8,082.998 if you truncate, or 9 if you round. So what the AP needs to see is this notation, that you did this correctly, that you took these derivatives and put them in the formula correctly, and then the final answer. They won't give you any credit for calculator notation, but you have to know how to use your calculator.